Football fans 56 ticket rail journey to save money on train fare. The rail ticketing system has long been described as confusing but the trial launching in May aims to change this. A football fan who traveled with 56 tickets to a match to save money has highlighted the confusion of the rail fare system. Newcastle supporter Jonathan Haywood posted a picture on Twitter of the tickets laid on his bed and jokingly thanked his friend for the worst advice Avenue ever received. Get a split ticket to Oxford he said. 56 tickets are you having me on? But he did say the split tickets saved him £60. Mr Haywood told Sky News, Well I couldn't believe it at first, but in the end it was actually worth it and I would do it again. There were 56 tickets, so 28 each for me and my girlfriend, and we split them into four envelopes, 14 each way for each of us, so it was manageable. The only hassle was our reservation changed every couple of stops so we sat in two unreserved seats for the whole journey. Sadly they missed the match because his girlfriend had to go to hospital after cutting her lip open when she slipped over entering the ground. Now following years of confusion, Britain's rail fares system is to be overhauled in a trial of easier ways to buy the cheapest tickets. The pricing of single journeys will be brought in for some trips so passengers find it easier to work out if they would be better off with two single tickets or a return ticket. Some fares for long, connecting journeys will be axed in favor of cheaper existing tickets, in an effort to eliminate the need for split ticketing. There are also plans to make it easier to use ticket vending machines. Rail Delivery Group Director of Customer Experience, Jackal and Star said, We know customers can find it hard to get the right ticket for their journey due to complex rules and regulations built up by governments over decades. There are more than 16 million different train fares, many of which nobody has ever bought. This also makes it more difficult to give passengers the right, simple options on ticket machines. Working with government, we're determined to overhaul the system to cut out red tape, jargon and complication to make it easier for customers to buy fares they can trust, including from ticket machines. Liana Upkind, public transport campaigner at the Campaign for Better Transport, welcomed plans to simplify the horribly complicated fare system. But she called for the introduction of long overdue part-time season tickets and said rail companies should protect staffing levels at stations as machines cannot replace trained, visible members of staff. A Commons Transport Select Committee report published in October said the rail ticketing system was dogged by unfairness, complexity and a lack of transparency but train companies blamed government regulations. The trials will begin in May on selected routes, including East Midlands, Cross Country and Virgin Trains East and West Coast services.